moving on, let's talk about your boy. Let's talk about your boy, Steve Adazio. Just a bunch of guys being dudes, man. You got to love it. Colorado State Rams. Win total sits at four and a half. The over and the under are both juiced at minus 115. The projected record from SP Plus and FBI, five and seven. I was just about to say, it, it, right on the number at four and a half. The schedule sets up pretty well yeah. because they have five opponents that are projected to be number 105 or worse. The issue is uh, they're only projected to be like number 96, and FPI has them at 106. Yeah, all, so. I was going to say all those games where they're projected to play bad teams, those, those are still toss-up <laughs> games. <laughs> still toss-up those are still games. coin flip games. So um, congratulations, you're playing a bad team. But you <laughs> are a bad team. Yes, that's going to be going to be difficult. Uh, the True. personnel... Still does not quite match Adazio's offensive philosophy. His his philosophy at Boston College and at Florida and everywhere else that he's been uh, has been tempo and physicality. That's right. Like he wanted to play fast, but he also wanted to to run you over. Um, he doesn't really have the dudes to do that. Not close yet. And they lost uh, their quarterback Patrick O'Brien to transfer. That's right. Um, it's going to be interesting. They they got a tight end Trey McBride. He's going to be a playmaker. Uh, great run defense, but. They, they play a lot of man coverage in their secondary, and and you can sometimes do that when you're in, like, the SEC or, or even at Boston College in the ACC. Right. Uh, at Colorado State, you ain't got the dudes to, to be able to do that, no. um, and they just could not stop the pass last year. Four and, and a half is three. the number? Uh, four and a half is the number, and I'm, I'm sure you know which way I'm leaning. Yeah. I'm going to go under. I think I got two as well. What's yeah. the juice on that? Minus 115. That's not bad. It, no, that's it's the same the for right. That's probably the right play. I just think and that schedule's you know pretty difficult, uh, and I they're know, not good. I mean, the schedule's difficult because, because there's no not e- good. there's no easy win because you you don't have easy wins when you're a bad football team. You know, they're actually projected like one of their wins is they're projected to beat Vanderbilt. So that's insane. If now if but they almost beat, a touchdown, I will tell you this: if they beat Vanderbilt, that says a lot about Vanderbilt and not so much about Colorado State. Very much so. The state of Vanderbilt is. Pretty uh, bleak. I will say that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.